Good morning guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about the classic bodybuilding. So, I just woke up and it's a Saturday. Now, right now it's a Sunday morning, but in the night from Saturday to Sunday, the hour in the Netherlands went back. So now we are in winter time. What do you think about that? Comment down below. Let's get started with the day. My morning weight was 114.3 kilos. That is 2.3 kilos above my uh, allowed stage weight. So I'm very happy with that. Conditioning still there. But the first thing we're going to do before the fasted cardio of 30 minutes is drink some water with some Vayu Meta Plus. As you can see, Meta Plus, I'm gonna put it in this bottle of water. There are all kinds of metabolic plus things in here, like a bit of caffeine, green tea extract, and other ingredients to make sure you burn just a bit more fat while you're doing your cardio. And what are we here right now? <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. Pumpkin. Hey. Wow, you are looking like a pumpkin princess. Beautiful. <laughs> what about you, Dex? Are you addicted to the tablet immediately? Well, first you gotta make your breakfast. Before I'm doing my own thing, it is time to, uh, well, I already made them. Their breakfast, Marley and Dexter. So let me show you an example right here. As you can see, some blueberries. Well, you can see that, but it's beneath the granola, healthy granola. Also some uh, high protein yogurt, AKA quark. And there's also some, where you stew pears in like juice in the slow cooker right there. So that's what Marley did. And we just mix that through the, uh, the yogurt and it's very delicious, at least according to her. And also according to Dexter because he likes it a lot. And now I'm seeing someone walk outside with a dog in like a trolley because she is addicted to walking. And the dog, well, it's a gold retriever, and you know, that dog would normally love to walk, but she walks so often that he doesn't feel like it. Anyway, small tangent, let's give Dexter his breakfast. And Dexter is enjoying his delicious breakfast. Very anabolic, high protein, medium carb, medium fat, that's how we like it. Alrighty, I'm upstairs now, I'm about to do the 30 minutes of cardio. In the meantime, we took a shower. We're gonna do the 30 minutes of cardio right here. And uh, yeah, after that, I have the delicious breakfast, which I'm very much looking forward to. And there will be a new addition to the breakfast, which is, you know, going to be delicious. And you will wanna try it out yourself. Anyway, let's finish this up. Kaboom, and here we are at the breakfast. So we have right here a combination of cream of rice and plain oatmeal. I like this combination now, 50 grams of oatmeal, 50 grams of cream of rice, some blueberries, and on top is a layer of cinnamon. And the protein will be this incredible ESN designer whey protein paste. So put in uh, two scoops of uh, chocolate flavored ESN designer whey, add about 60 ml of water, mix it up, and the night before I put it in the fridge just like this, and then it all firms up very nicely. This right here is the secret sauce I'll be adding to this. So it's a rest day today, so I'll be adding 20 grams of either Calabar chocolate, but I'm not adding that now, I'm adding 20 grams of peanut butter. So this is solid caramel flavor, and you might think, oh, this is bad peanut butter, but no, this is natural peanut butter, as you can see, look at that. That allows you to actually squeeze it out with perfect gram weights instead of, you know, scooping out too much with a spoon and what you do with the rest. You can put this perfectly over this, drizzle it over. And we're gonna show you that in just a second. And this right here is one of the supplements I like to take in the morning, right when I, uh, you know, I wake up. First I drink the Meta Plus from this bottle, and then I do cardio, and then right before the breakfast I take seven capsules of Athlete Stack for men, as you can see. All vitamins, minerals, and trace elements are in here as well. So if you don't want to take a whole lot of different capsules, you could just take seven of this. 
and then you get enough for athletes. Just not a multivitamin, but an athlete multivitamin. Link down below for a discount. Anyway, let me show you the end result of this one. Just look at this, guys. Perfectly drizzled over with peanut squeeze. Remember this one? Also the ESN, everything is available with the link down below, guys. This, this honestly is a revelation to me because normally I would be scooping out the pro, I mean the peanut butter from the uh, container, from the glass container, and it would just come out very wrong. And now I have the perfect amount. Yes, the scale is a bit messed up because it shows different amounts every time that I press it, but it was 20 the moment I put it in there. And uh, then you know exactly how much you put in until the gram and also even divide it instead of having a big spoon, trying to divide it over the bowl and then it's like in a corner and then you have to fiddle around with you know, not eating all the peanut butter at once at least. I like to uh, you know evenly distribute it throughout the entire meal. But anyway, this is gonna be good. Alrighty guys, and this is the next meal of the day, meal number two. This is actually the protein and vegetable part. So we have some chicken. We have some sauerkraut and we have some cucumber and the vegetables in here also the mushrooms and um, the zucchini you saw before and some pumpkin and right here we have the carbohydrate component a simple meal of cream of rice 60 grams puffed up a little of volume a little bit of cinnamon husk a little bit of cinnamon on top so this will add a lot more volume to your day on the rest day where you want to eat more. You can easily use this tactic to divide the carbs and the vegetables and the protein and in the form of cream of rice to make it a lot more voluminous and enjoyable. Okay, we're guys, you saw me eating at the breakfast already. And now we're shot for the rest of the meals of the day and every single meal will contain vegetables. Maybe that is something boring to you guys, but this is how I survive my contest prep and even the off season when I get hungry, the volume in the meals is caused by the vegetables. So I'm gonna show you an example of low fat and vegetables, how I prepare them. Just put them in a Tupperware container and put them in the fridge. Let me actually show you an example right here. So I've got a lot of different vegetables, but for example, this is a previous one that's almost empty. Just some uh, zucchini and a little bit of um, red pepper and also some mushrooms. So this is gonna be finished in one meal. And I've also got a very big container of this beautiful pumpkin, as you can see right here. Now this might not uh, look recognizable to you, but this is a kabucha pumpkin, a Japanese pumpkin. And let me actually show you what it looks like when it's whole. Right here we have a collection of pumpkins. And this is the one you just saw. You can eat it with the skin and all. Just put it in the crock pot over there, the slow cooker, and just steam it for like 15, 16 minutes. And then it is perfect. And this one is the popular orange pumpkin you all know in America as well. But yeah, I like to use that as well in my, uh, in my vegetable preps. But for now, we are going to use this bell pepper and this zucchini. So we're just gonna cut it up real easy. And I just like to cut it up in small cubes. And what I wanted to say about prepping is it may sound boring, but once you have these vegetables prepped in the fridge, all you gotta do then is every time that you eat, that you cook something fresh or you prepare something for the next day, the vegetables are already done. And that usually takes the most amount of time which is why when you're already preparing your vegetables like this, it saves you time in the long run because this is gonna be enough for a couple of meals and that is very important. And not to mention how healthy it is to eat these vegetables, guys. If you, for example, have a little bit of chicken or fish with some carbs and maybe some fats if you're lucky, the thing is, the volume is very low. If it's like rice and chicken and something boring, you want to add some colors, which is why we have three colors here. And this zucchini, just put it in here. Now we're gonna cut up the uh, bell peppers, which you don't have to see, of course, for every single one of them, but uh, very important, take out the seeds. The reason why these seeds are so bitter is because they are actually, if you eat them in higher amounts, a little bit poisonous for the body. So they don't taste good at all. So you might as well wanna pull them out and uh, not use them. 
So just throw those away. And this, exactly this, is the reason why a lot of people don't like to prep vegetables because, you know, this is the effort it takes to proper, uh, properly prep them. No matter the shape of the vegetable, just cut them up in little stripes first. And as you can see, you don't have to be a professional in cutting at all. You just cut up into little pieces on a big enough chopping board and just make sure to make them nice and small so when you stir fry them, they cook quickly. If you make the pieces too big, it's gonna cook slower and when it's not entirely cooked, it's gonna be more difficult to digest. Yes, it'll be longer in the stomach, but it will also possibly cause gases if you eat a lot of vegetables during the day and that's not what you want. Anyway, let me cut up these two and show you the end result of these two Tupperware containers. Just cutting up the last zucchini here. So because I see I have some space left in the Tupperware, I'm just gonna be adding this. The more you cut up guys, the less effort you have to do later. So I like to do this, for example, right after eating a meal and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of still hungry and you still wanna interact with food, just prep your next meals. And vegetables is the easiest way because you can't really cheat or taste them and uh, cheating your diet, it's only healthy. So I like to add around 250 grams of vegetables every single meal. And what I then like to do is just put the lid on it and stir it around a little bit so that whenever you take something out, it's nicely mixed up and you can just put this straight in the pan. So what I do is I take 150 grams of this kind of mixture. It can be this, it can be with mushrooms or other vegetables. Put 150 grams in the pan using cooking spray or baking spray. So this is really great. It's uh, kind of like pan spray, but even better because this is like for, you know, bakeries and it's, uh, you only have to use a little bit and it doesn't stick at all. So you use that in a pan. Then I take 100 grams of pumpkin and usually half a cucumber if I want some extra volume. And that's the vegetables for every single meal, which you will also see today. So let's just um, put the lid on this. But we also need to go to the grocery store, a big grocery store, to get some extra supplies. Some things you guys have asked about quite a lot, you will see there. So we're gonna go there right now. All right, guys, we are on our way to a grocery store that is called De Macro. And it's basically a, kind of like a Costco that you have in America and Canada, I believe. So you can get a lot of wholesale stuff. It's actually meant for like restaurants and uh, bigger chains that need a lot of ingredients. If you have a company in the Netherlands, you can actually get access to that store regardless of your industry. So we can get there and it's pretty close to the house, only like a five minute drive, which is uh, very nice. It's also very close to the gym. So whenever I need something like fresh fish or extra vegetables or fruits, I just go there and I don't need to go once a week to get a whole lot of stuff. I usually go a couple of times whenever I need something and I notice that something is almost out of stock in the house, I just get something from there uh, on my way home. All right guys, we've arrived at the macro, and the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna need some Calabout chocolates. And this is the brand, you can see the percentage here, how dark it is, but we of course are going for the one and only Power 80. This is the only one that counts, 80% dark chocolate. So at a store like this, you can get Calabout and other brands as well, but nothing beats the Belgium chocolate of Calabout. What I'm also going to take here is another bulk ingredient that is broth. And there's a lot of different kinds of broth you can use. What do I use this for? I cook this whenever I cook rice in the slow cooker, in the crock pot, the pressure cooker. I add broth to it. It adds natural collagen protein from the animal itself. So since I am eating beef now, I can use the beef broth. So I'm gonna take this one. Beef, meat and bones for 32% and then a lot of different vegetables. So that's the ingredient list, obviously in Dutch, but and the calories are like 25 calories per 100 ml. 
of which most is protein, so you don't have to worry about that either. And I also use that to make my pooled beef. So I, I take, uh, I think it's called like a round beef in uh, English, but it's a very lean beef that you can't really tenderize properly unless you use a slow cooker. So put like four beefs in there with a bit of broth and it tastes absolutely amazing. Liquid egg whites. So you can see 20% off, so I'm just gonna take, let's just take three of them. So you can see a difference. Here you can see the clear egg white. And here you can see the uh, bakery's egg white. So here there's nothing extra added. And on that one, you that's specifically made, mixed up with other ingredients to make it a lot more airy. But then you don't have the raw, pure egg whites. It's, it is pasteurized, but nothing else added. And that's something you have to look for when getting liquid egg whites from a store. And we also will get some whole eggs. And the weird thing is, like these have three stars. But the moment that you break these open, the egg yolk is very yellow. What you want is an orange egg yolk, and this one has a way deeper color. Take the XL, of course. I mean, we're a bodybuilder. These eggs, um, when you break them open, they are a lot more orange compared to the green box. For some reason, even though th those are organic eggs and these are uh, a little lower grade eggs, but still, when you break it open, it looks like a higher quality egg in terms of what the chicken actually ate. So that's uh, why I choose that one. So a big benefit of a store like this, you have a lot of different proteins. So here we have some frozen shrimps. So I'm just gonna take four of these. These are raw, peeled and um, deveined. So there's no more dirty little intestines in there. Even though they're frozen and they release a lot of water, what I do is I put all of this in a crock pot for one minute and when it's done it comes out perfect. So that's the reason why I take it like this because it's very convenient for me to use. Strawberries, boom. We have a big freezer at home so there's no problem. And strawberries is the most delicious vegetable relative to how little calories they contain. Also the most voluminous so of course I'm going to choose that. So I always like to take these mushrooms, and this is the only pre-sliced vegetable I take. You saw me prepare those vegetables before, but I just add this through it. And uh, a very low calorie, but very tasty addition. This is also one of the most important additions to my diet during prep. The humble cucumber. So what I do is I literally slice it in half, Add it to meals whenever I'm hungry, and it literally, it virtually adds no calories. So we're just gonna take a few to make sure we are fully stocked at home. Green asparagus, very expensive, but at the same time, I love it as the last of the day. So this is this is for example four euros and sixty-five cents, and it's literally going into one meal. So I'm just gonna take uh, one of them because we're also going to take some frozen asparagus uh, from there, which is a lot cheaper, but I sometimes I just like the taste of a fresh version. So here we have the potatoes, and I recently started to change my rice meals to sweet potato meals, a bit more volume, and it's very delicious, so you can easily chop it up into squares as well, into little cubes, mix it through those vegetables, absolutely delicious, so we're just going to take a couple of these. These are actually uh, small, but they make it easier to cut them into uh, the shape that I want, so I actually prefer this. Low fat vegetable, bell pepper. This one is a sweet, how do you call it in uh, English? Point paprika? But it's another bell pepper as well, slightly different flavor. And this is Dexter's favorite snack, snack cucumbers. Might as well take those as well. Whenever your child loves a vegetable, make sure to have them at home every single day because it will be a waste not to take advantage of that. And these are the green asparagus I was talking about, a lot cheaper. So this is six euros for about a kilo, which is uh, a good deal. I think we got plenty enough. Even though I said I don't need a lot every time. Whenever I'm in the grocery store, I take things that I think I need. 
and they will be consumed quite fast. But hey, it's all healthy, it's all good for you, and it's gonna help your bodybuilding goals. Now it's time to go home. Ah, that's the rule, take all the bags at once. Alrighty guys, it's a bit later now and the meal that uh, I had after the cream of rice meal I just showed you was exactly the same, so I have two of those meals, so that leaves us to meal number four now, which is the last carb meal of the day. The last two meals on the rest day have no carbs in them, so this is the last carb meal and I want to make it a little different, so let me show you. So this is actually the carbs that I'm using and yes, the plate I've already used for the previous meal, but I think that's a waste of um, dishes to you know clean it out every single time so here we have some purple sweet potato next to a regular orange sweet potato these actually contain a bit more carbs but are way more delicious so this is about 200 grams you know a little more than 200 grams it's about the same as 50 grams of uh, rice which would uh, what I would have for this meal we're also going to be adding the pumpkin that I showed you before as you can see right here, 100 grams of that. And also the vegetables from this meal, uh, from this pan, and hopefully, it still says 30 minutes, but in here is the pulled beef that I told you guys about before, I think. But anyway, this is round beef, four beefs in here, so I'm gonna make pulled beef out of this. Let's see if it's done in time, but yeah, you will see the end result regardless right now just wanted to show you the end result of the pulled beef i just um you know i'm just going to show you with the steam hopefully but you can see very very tender so i'm just gonna pull this apart and show you what that looks like but trust me you can make lean beef taste incredible with this technique so here you can see it more clearly just a beautiful pulled beef right here and uh, yeah, this is amazing guys, so all you need to do now is measure this. It's literally only protein, no fats, obviously no carbs, so very clean sort of protein right here, which I'm going to be adding to my meal. And this right here is the end result. You can see the purple and orange sweet potatoes, some extra cucumber, there's also some sauerkraut beneath there somewhere, some other vegetables, and of course the pulled beef for a great combination of flavors health and bodybuilding goal um, achieving. Okay guys, just took a walk outside and this lighting isn't doing my face any good. Maybe here, uh, down lighting never really works, but anyway, I just had a nice uh, 30 minute walk outside to finish off the 10,000 steps a day. And now we're just time for the last one of the day. And this is actually two meals combined. So normally I eat six meals, now I'm eating five meals, but as I said, the last two meals don't contain any carbs. So what I do is simply you know, double the amount of protein before bed, keep vegetables pretty high also. I like to have a good amount of vegetables, a good amount of protein before going to bed. Now normally I will be having these two meals separately, but sometimes due to what you have to do in a day, time constraints, stuff like that, you can combine a meal here and there and it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Worrying about that, however, every single day does give you stress, which actually makes your progress less sufficient, efficient, etc. Anyway, let me show you what this meal was gonna look like. So this is the liquid egg whites, 350 mils and four whole eggs. Um, as you can see, well, you can maybe see it a little bit, these eggs are egg yolks are nice and orange. As I mentioned before at the grocery store, these have a nice orange color, which uh, gives you information about how much vitamins are in here, like choline, uh, vitamin A, very healthy minerals, vitamins, phytonutrients available here in higher quantities. We also, this is a second uh, protein portion, a nice big tuna steak. I have it on setting number three, so put some salt in there, put it on here to nicely steam off slowly. I'm gonna mix this up a little bit and then do the same here. And the vegetables, it's just gonna be this nice, uh, you know, chunk. How do you how do you say that? Uh, let's see how do how do they call that? I don't know. This is a nice bush amount sticks. Asparagus spears, right, the spears of asparagus. I'm gonna cut this off. You don't want this hard 
piece at the bottom so I'm only left with this. This gives me around 250 to 300 grams of asparagus which I'm gonna steam in a crock pot. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the meal. This right here is a reason why I'm doubling up on the meals. I have to give Lara her little drink. I also put in cream of rice, but then the baby version, rice flour. Every time someone asks me, where do you get your cream of rice? Well, literally I use rice flour, not this one, but uh, you know, just the rice flour that bakeries get. If you have a bakery, you also have to get your raw materials like rice flour, but this is specifically for babies. And the only difference is, it's five times more expensive. That's it. And it's supposedly tested for, you know, toxins and stuff like that. But anyway, I put in a couple of scoops of this, probably at 10 grams in here, for little Lara. And Lara is right here, sleeping, but she's about to wake up to receive the anabolic milk and then she's gonna go to sleep upstairs for a good night's deep sleep. Everything is running over here. As you can see, I might have actually overcooked this tuna steak. It's been about half an hour since, well, since I began giving uh, Lara her bottle and I had it on three, now it's on two, but it's, you know, it became quite hot, hotter than I thought. However, this one still isn't done. But I wanted to show you my sleep stack that I like to use right before going to sleep. So my most important thing to me that really works is the melatonin sleep spray. So this is green apple flavor. You know, one spray stands for one milligram of melatonin. I take quite a lot because it's also a very good antioxidant for the brain. And it actually has been proven or disproven that you are, uh, you know, if you don't take it anymore, that you fall asleep more difficult. That is not the case. Taking it will benefit you. Not taking it anymore will be a neutral effect. Then we have some GABA, also is very good for you know relaxing the mind, getting you into a deeper sleep. I take three grams of this. Then also Ashwa Pro, which is Ashwagandha KSM 66, which stands for the trademark, knowing it's the correct concentrate, and this also lowers cortisol levels, lowers stress, and makes it easier to fall asleep as well. And these three together really allow me to sleep very, very well. And that is uh, something that is very important for a bodybuilder. And there we have it, the last meal of the day. The asparagus, what can I say? I love my asparagus and vegetables in general. The, uh, oh, sorry about the steam, guys. The egg whites and four whole eggs. And honestly, uh, the tuna steak doesn't look half bad, now does it? Even though it's maybe a little dry, a little salt and pepper, there's nothing that can't fix. Anyway, this is the last meal of the day and I try to not to drink out of water. So I've been sipping on this for like the past four hours because I don't want to get out of bed to pee. Now I'm, you know, I'm allowing, enabling myself to only pee once a night, which is a, a very good thing. Because the last thing you want is to get out of, uh, out of bed a lot of times. And with Laura upstairs, I'm gonna get up probably two extra times anyway, if I'm unlucky. If I'm lucky, then I'm just gonna be up for peeing, but you know, that's dad and mom and parenting life in general. Anyway, I'm gonna put some delicious salt in here. Also today I took a lot of supplements, of course, the omega-3 with every meal, magnesium with every meal, citrus bergamot with every meal, uh, apple cider vinegar tablets with every single meal, and also some other healthy uh, additions. Actually, actually not the citrus bergamot with every meal, which is for healthy cholesterol levels, but I'm taking the astragalus for every, for every meal for the kidney health. Anyway, I'm also going to be doing a full day of supplement video very soon. And uh, if you want to know all of the macros of all of the meals and the total macros, check the link down below. Also check the link down below for the discount on any of the supplements that you've seen and by ESN and Vayu. And also for Vintage Genetics clothing. And thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about the food I've been eating or if you want to be seeing anything else, let me know as well. And don't forget to stay.